Kevon Looney. Left alone. You certainly not a threat to shoot it, but this guy is. And Jordan Poole gets the scoring started tonight. Warriors with a couple of days off. They played Saturday, was their last game, and one of their most impressive wins of the year, beating the Celtics on their home floor as Thompson puts another one on the board. Grant. Disappointing loss on the road against the Rockets on Sunday. 97-92 is the final as Draymond Green goes strong, goes right at Brook Lopez. Lopez coming off a three-block game against the Rockets as Giannis gets inside and lays it in. And that right there speaks to his talent. Middleton, a bad ankle. Had him only in the game Sunday for six and a half minutes. Nice spin and the reverse. Chris Middleton. Bobby Portis and Pat Connaughton. Their first minutes on the floor for Milwaukee. Two-man game with Giannis. Giannis rolls. Connaughton oh. lays it in. Tough finish. Oh, I love it. It's a great show. He's doing a terrific job. Bobby Portis going to work. And off the window. Taking on pool. No problem. First quarter. That stops a 7-0 run for Milwaukee. Bucks lead it by two off one foot. Lopez. But need his minutes tonight with no Drew Holiday. Holiday out with an illness as Lopez will hit. And two possessions in a row showing Brooke Lopez's value. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see as the game goes on. First basket for Curry. Middleton with an answer. Bucks shooting it well here in this first quarter. Talked about that before the game. What he's doing on the defensive end. As Lopez rains one in. Brooke Lopez. Their home road splits are shocking right now. The Warriors just 2-11 and 11 on the road. Lamb's first minutes on the floor. And Anthony Lamb, a two-way player, four-year man out of Vermont. Didn't have a field goal attempt until deep into the first quarter. Here's DiVincenzo in the corner, and he hits one. His last four games prior to tonight, just one for 11 on three-pointers. He's trying to check Giannis here. That is no problem for the Greek three. But it's not working tonight because the Warriors come right off the screen and pull up and knock him in. Uh, delivers the layup. And staying to your point. Thompson gets it off in time. No, and there's Giannis. Uh-oh. He's on the push. <laughs> and he throws it down. Uh -oh. You saw it, Coach. Thanks so much, B.A. You know very well because you live in this area, but Looney has been involved with this organization, Rebel Rumble, for quite some time. They have charity basketball games, but he also has come back here to run his camp. Play well, I and mean, then knowing that Stan Van Gundy and Brian Anderson yeah. were coming. And Grant Hill. <laughs> so he knows he's going to play well tonight. Yeah, there's a three-pointer in, Clay Thompson. Poole to Looney. And Looney got stuck under the basket. Here's Poole now. He hangs and scores. Bucks had a 14-point lead at one point. Giannis spins off Looney. Oh, Giannis out of the Kumpo. There's nothing scary. You said it like you said that before. <laughs> oh, I have felt it many times. Carter gives it up. Giannis sidestep. And the follow by Portis. So a quick burst here by the Bucks. We check in with Stephanie Reddy. What do you have, Steph? B.I. Yeah, spoke with Steve Kerr, and he said their offense was too scattered. A lot of individual play for the Warriors. He said it's affecting our defense. Giannis is 6 for 16, Grant, and absolutely dominating this game. <laughs> oh, 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 high off the window. Dish from Giannis, and Anacumpo got a hand on that. A deflection turns into a Warriors turnover. Allen for three, contested. Ooh, catch from Grayson Allen with hands in his face. Rebounding discrepancy is big right now. Giannis is fouled. And one. Well, I've got to get to what you mentioned earlier, Grant. they got to get that ball movement and their player movement so that they can get shots even against the people sagging. Middleton on the catch and shoot from Grayson Allen. In the last few years, the Warriors have owned the third quarter against opponents. That's when they've made their big push. So far, the first half of this third quarter, not as much, though Curry just connects. I was think it in so. the gather? It was on the gather, yeah, I think so. Curry, fake pass, floater, good. And Lopez 
coming down on his ankle. Good stuff, Stephanie. Thank you. You saw Lopez first one into the fray to help his teammate. Here's Poole for three. That one rips the cords. Neither team shooting the ball from three-point range all that well. Lopez gets it to Portis. Portis, little turnaround is good. He's got that one all day long. Behind the back, Thompson, he finds Jermichael Green. That one's good. Warriors needed that one. Team tonight on jump shots. Yeah, all of his points coming right inside the lane as Kaminga goes coast to coast, lays it in. Lamb back on the floor, Grayson Allen. As always, Bucks secure it. Now they got numbers. Allen wide open. Cash money for Grayson Allen. Possible he could return. Uh, Kumpo is going to try another three, and he finally gets one, he says, finally. I don't know if one for 15 on jump shots is going to prove me wrong. Yeah, but he's one for his last one. It's that's cool. exactly right. <laughs> and as I've said before, that's the way you play. That's your default. And for Giannis and Tedekumpo, that default is full speed all the time. Of course Stan was the coach. The last time we've seen that kind of volume, that's just for the Warriors. And I, and I liked how he deflected that right there. That was a great explanation. Looks like he's got a bright future, but he's got a long way to go. He's got a good chance here in front of his hometown fans here tonight. Kuminga, another 20-year-old, brings one in. And you don't want to bring people in where everybody's cold and give away this game as Baldwin knocks down another one. And so these are good opportunities for him. And Bobby Portis, he's getting his. Wow. You're in his crosshairs, Grant Hill. You know, you know what's interesting with Charles? You know, it's, it's kind of like when you make it to the NBA, you don't go back to the old playground <laughs> and play basketball with those guys. The risk is more. It's just not worth it. Roster as well. So we sit here in mid-December, and the Warriors, a much different team on the road, and they struggle once again. And the Milwaukee...